deserve to be a millionaire. You deserve to take trips. You deserve to live the life that you want to live. You do. How's that to get you pumped? From living off the streets to becoming one of the world's most in-demand motivational speakers, Eric Thomas, author of The Secret to Success, is about to bring his inspirational skills here down under, and I caught up with him a little earlier. Wow, Eric, good morning to you. I feel like I should jump out of this seat and take on the world, which is a hard ask early on a Sunday morning, I've got to say. That's okay, though. We can do it. We can do it. We sure can. Now, you have had enormous success as a motivational speaker and as an author, and you are living testament to the message that you deliver that anything is possible. Tell us a bit Absolutely. about your humble beginnings. You once even lived on the street for a time. Oh, yeah, that was a while ago, but definitely... Um, I was homeless. I lived in abandoned buildings. I uh, have, you know, unfortunately eaten out of trash cans and, you know, dropped out of high school. Um, but I was able to, you know, get back on course. So what was it that inspired you to turn your life around? Well, you know, I had a, a mentor who came in my life. Uh, he was actually a pastor who uh, he saw exactly what I'm doing now. You know, he believed that when I was only 17 years old. Uh, he sent me off to college, you know, I got into a new environment, uh, and the sky was the limits. And you had experience from a pretty early age delivering your message and, and realizing that you did have an enormous power in doing it. What was it, the, the turning point, I guess, that made you realize that it was your dream that you could make a living out of? Well, you, you know, my turning point was the ability to connect with people, you know, in a way that was, you know, unusual. And it just seems like when you've been there and you've done that, you know, people from all walks of life have the ability to connect with you in a way that's, you know, just unbelievable. So I, I think it was that. It was, it, it was the, the way the crowds not only listened to me, but what they did afterwards. So, um, I, 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 and I think I'm loud too, so that, and, and passionate, so that kind of helps. <laughs> You certainly got a, a great voice. I could listen to you speak all day. But you do Thank spend you. a lot of time with, with teenagers, with young people giving talks in schools. What's the key message that you try to get across? Because it can be a really confusing time in a young person's life, can't it? A absolutely. I say to kids, look, one day you're going to want options. One day you're not going to be a teenager. You know, one day you're going to be, you want to drive a certain car, live in a certain neighborhood, or maybe even break a cycle in your family and without and education, it's impossible. So what I do that a lot of people don't do is I give them a why. What, what's the reason? Why do you wake up? Why do you study? Why do you do English? Why do you do math? And when they're able to see, ooh, math isn't about math, but it's about my future. English isn't about English, but it's about my future. When they can make that connection and they can begin with the end in mind, I mean, wow, they, they actually take on school in ways that they've never done it before. But once they can get it, boom, the sky is the limit. Boom, indeed. And what about people who are going through a rough time for adults, whether it be family, work or money? What's the advice you give to them? You know, I, I tell people all the time, you know, we all go through pain. You know, we, we all have disappointments. But for me, at the end of pain should be a reward. Like, why would you go through all of the hurt? all of the disappointments and not get a reward for it. Yeah, enjoy the, the flip side of it as well. And what's the Absolutely. message you've, you've got on your shirt today? Oh, when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. And I think that's the problem. Too many adults are giving 70%, 80%, and they're looking for the rewards of the people who give 120%. Like, there are people who want to live like me, but they don't, want to, they don't want to work like me. So I tell people, when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then and only then will you be successful. Well, you want some positivity. You're going to get it when you come down under to Australia. We look forward to having That's you right. here and, um, right. and sharing your message. You're certainly an inspiration. I tell people, England does not have the best fish and chips. <laughs> it's actually Australia. So I can't wait to get back down under. Don't give away our secrets. Good on you, Eric. Thanks for joining All right. us. All right. All right. Thank you. Man. He's good. He fires you He's up, giving people he? a why. A yeah, why? Yeah. If you want to succeed as much as you want to breathe. Oh, Eric Thomas is great and he's heading to Australia for the Be Phenomenal Tour. For more information and your chance to meet him personally, visit bephenomenal.com.au.